afraid to say that returning to racing may impact planks and pajamas a little bit. However, I've been really impressed with myself because I have done it like two or three times so far this week and normally I wouldn't do any four during the week. So um, there has been a little bit routine, but I have um, a few stand-ins to kind of help me and maintain the planks and pajamas. I hope not to be doing it on race night. This is probably the most planking I've ever done and the most uh, regular, I guess, that I've been with it or most consistent that I've been with planks and pajamas. But um, I think I, I, there have been times of being more ripped, for sure. <laughs> There's also been a lot of dessert. <laughs> I'm just really excited to be back racing. I mean, I think that's that's the most amazing part is that there was so much uncertainty of what, if, if races would happen or when they would happen. And to actually be here racing in a couple days is just really awesome. And to just be reunited with everybody from the triathlon family and get back on that race course is gonna be amazing. I think for it being a world, like the world championship as well as a WTS race, it, it really doesn't change the tactics at all. Like my goals are still the same and would have been the same no matter what the title of this race was. So that's one of the things that reassures me going into this race and kind of finding out that it was a world championship race. It's just that that doesn't change my process. My process and my goals are still the same. And as long as I focus on them, then I'll have a good race result. Everybody. <laughs> I would really like to beat everybody if it's a close race down to the finish line. <laughs> My ideal race, um, even though I don't really like thinking about ideal races because they never happen, but my ideal race is getting out well in the swim to be in a good position coming out of the water and having an aggressive transition hard onto the bike and just being able to maintain that position and do the, be in the right gearing and be in the front of the pack throughout the bike and make it a hard bike. And that way when it comes to the run, it's kind of every, every woman for themselves and I tend to do pretty well off of hard bikes so that, that'll be the goal. It is really nerve-wracking having not raced in so long, but I feel like the feelings I have right now are really similar to the feelings that I have every, every time we're going into the race season off of the off-season. So every time we're coming off that block of training in the winter and have our first race in Abu Dhabi, those are similar feelings to what I'm having in Hamburg. They're a little bigger just because of the amount of time, but they're all feelings that we're familiar with and um, that I know come race day, are just going to disappear as soon as the gun goes off. I'm going to try my best to win on the weekend. <laughs> During the coronavirus and everything for the past couple months, I was really fortunate because we were in the U.S. We were staying, we being Tommy, my husband, and myself, we were staying with my parents um, and we had access to the pool We had, and I had him to do swimming, biking, and running with. So even though it wouldn't be our typical uh, way of training, we would normally be with our training squad and with my coach Joel Filial, it was nice because I did have Tommy to just do everything with and I also had, after basically, I guess, June 9th, I had access to a pool. So I've had access to a pool for quite some time now. I mean, I'm really excited about the race happening in Hamburg. I, I love Hamburg, I love it as a city, and also, um, I mean, it's different because this is the race that's normally the one on the series that just has the most vibrant of atmospheres and the most people. So it's a little bit different doing it um, in a closed circuit type, type race course, but that being said, it still has the same support and I'm, I guess it, the course is still super beautiful and I'm just really happy that the location, the local organizing committee is committed to putting this race on for us. Not having any spectators at the race will be really different. I think it's, I'm probably not going to understand the full impact of that until actually racing. Um, but I also think as athletes, as much as the audience gives us energy. I also think when we're in the race and just trying our hardest and really focused on it being in the moment that maybe it won't be as noticeable or I'm hoping that just <laughs> focusing on going really hard will negate the fact that there's not any spectators. I've done a lot of inspecting the course since we've been here. We've been here since Saturday so a lot more time than normal and um, I think it's interesting because I mean it's a pretty basic course when you look at it but also uh, it is like an uphill, downhill course, and I think that'll be an interesting aspect of it. And then also just having those corners, I think it's really going to be important because they're so narrow to make sure you're in the right position on the bike. 
and then for the run it's the first part is actually on soft surface and it's on dirt so um, that'll be pretty cool to segment it but also um, it's different than what we've done in the past so I just think the course is an awesome course and I'm, I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, my ideal race is going to look like having a really solid swim where I come out in the front pack and a really assertive transition to get onto the bike and just really, really push it hard from the get-go and make sure that I'm in the right position, right gearing for the bike so that we make it hard, we make it fast, and then by the time we get on the run, if there's a gap, that would be super fantastic, but either way, run as hard as we can and see who crosses the finish line first. 2020 has been a challenging year. I think um, I'm excited that we're getting any races for the end of the year, and I kind of take that as a bonus and almost as prep for 2021. Um, I think 2021, 2020 has kind of gotten the shaft and can be seen as a lost year, but I also think there's been moments of it that have had its silver linings, and it's a good time right now to see where we're going to be at for 2021. I am so sad that we won't get to see you all on the race course, but I know that we will all be feeling your energy and be able to take all the energy from the last however many years that we've been racing in Hamburg and bring it, bring it with us as we race this weekend. So thank you for all your support. Thank you for opening your city up to us and having us come here because it's amazing that we get to race again.